All right, so today I'm with coding YouTuber Nick White. We're at Harvard University, giving away money to students for solving coding problems. Let's get it. First question is, do you know what year Java came out? 85, 96, or 99? 96. 96. 96. Bingo! Wow. Yeah. I'll give you $20. Really? For, yeah, for, e for every question you answer. I forgot to explain that. Yeah. Oh, wait. For, wait. Okay, yeah, no, 20, okay, all right, all right. Okay. Is this for YouTube? What is this for? We're just making, we're just like making a fun YouTube video. Oh. Yeah, okay. Harvard, question, Harvard kids CS question. Oh, that's no. a good, th that's a good title, right? Yeah. Okay, what is the max value of a 32-bit integer? Oh, uh, we learned this in the first week. <laughs> hmm, max integer value. Yeah. I feel like that's it. Is it is it two to the thirty two? Yes, it's wow. two to the yeah two to the thirty two, or it, it would it, would it be two to the thirty one? It's one of those. Final question, and if you can get all ten, I'll just give you a hundred bucks. Oh my god. Okay? okay. All right. I got to put a timer on for this one. I'm gonna be <laughs> Don't here Let's get it. Okay, so one person answers, but I guess you guys can okay, just guys. feed oh, in the answers. Okay. Sixty seconds. Name ten programming languages. C, C plus plus R, Java. Oh, C oh. plus plus C, Java, Python, R, uh, R uh, Ruby, SQL, HTML, um, C sharp. Or uh, what? How many do one I have? More, one more. Ah! Uh, one more. <laughs> um, what's it? Ruby. Did there's I say an, that? There's another Java. There's a second Java. JavaScript. Thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I find the road. You guys got it. I don't think I could even rattle off ten. There's yeah. sixty. So. There's eighty. And there's a hundred. I'll, I'll let you guys split that Thank up. You. Yeah. Thank you guys so much Hi, for the you. video. Yeah. yeah, what's your name? I'm a Darsh. I'm a Darsh. Darsh. I'm Kenny. The question I'm going to ask you is to flatten a 2D array. I want you to flatten this into a single list. So the output would just be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah? Cool. Does that make sense? Yep. So the logic would be, the iteration would just be very linear. Just the first row go all the way to the end of that, second row all the way to the end, third row all the way to the end. Yes, sir. So obviously the standard procedure would be a uh, nested loop, so four. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's perfect. Can you just return the flatten list? And then, that's perfect, man. Yeah, you don't have to write it out. It's all good. There you go. It's all good. Yeah, nicely done. My solution good job. Is like High five, languages. man. Let's go. Uh, you just won $100. Wow. Yeah. I guess I'm a rich man. What are you going to do with all this money? I... I'm gonna spend this in uh, ways that I'll regret. Yeah, waste it. Oh, that's waste what it's it. for. <laughs> Alright, thank all right. you so much, man. What year are you, brother? I'm a junior. Okay, okay. What kind of engineer? Computer science? Or? No, biomedical. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Dope. All right, first question is, how many bits are in a byte? Ooh, can I say eight or six? It's eight. Oh, it's eight. eight, yeah. That's $20. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next question. How many gigabytes in a terabyte? 256, 512, 1024, or 2048? Uh, is it 1024? Yes. It? Yeah, 1024. <laughs> nice. You're two for two. Now this one might be a little harder, but what year did Python come out? Uh, hmm. I'm going to shoot my shot. Say 2003. Nah. Nah. 91. 91? That's kind of old. What company designed the first CPU? AMD, Intel, or Fortran? Oh, Fortran. It's Intel. Yeah, Intel. Oh, man. And last question. It's actually two questions in one. So if you get both of them right, that's 40 bucks. So you got 20, you got $40 right now. If you can get this right, that's another 40. What command do you use to copy and paste? What two commands on a keyboard? Uh, control C and control V. Yes. Yay. That's awesome. There's $80. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hey. We uh, what was your name? I'm Graham. Graham. What was your name? Alonzo. Alonzo and Graham. What's good, fellas? Get it. Um, you guys go to MIT? We yeah. Do, yeah. yeah okay, cool.
computer science or? Yeah, computer aerospace science. engineering. Aerospace. Yeah. All right, so yeah, uh, the question that we're asking today is remove duplicates from an array. We have a list here with a bunch of duplicate values. You just want to remove those and uh, return the output without any duplicates. I think you can do that. Sounds good. Yeah. We've got a new list, and that's going to be empty. And then for item in old list, so that, that starting one that we uh, has a bunch of duplicates. If item not in new list, and then we're gonna add it to the new list. At the end, we're gonna return the new list. Very simple, straightforward solution, and that is right. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. nicely Thank you. done. <laughs> Good job, man. Thanks, that is one hundred dollars. I feel like that was too easy. Yeah. There's a hundred. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get, let's get another one. I got. I could do three sum. Three, three sum would be good. Okay, so yeah, with three sum, you have an array of numbers, and there are three values in that array that equal a certain sum. In this example, those three numbers would be six, four, and three, and it would equal thirteen. So you got to find the three numbers that equal the sum. This right. one's a little harder. Yeah, we'll give this a shot. All right. Okay. Okay. So uh, walk me through this. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up one index just to get the length of the list. So for i in range, length of list. And then we're going to do a triple nested for loop because we need three indices. So then okay. for j in range, len of list. And the third one for k in range, length of list. And then you gotta satisfy the condition that the i, j, and k are not the same. So then, if okay, okay. i um, not equal to j, not equal to k, and then if sum of i, j, and k equals equals target, return i comma j comma k. Let's go, man! Nice high five! Hell yeah! That's it. Uh, would you happen to know the time complexity of this? Uh, this is n cubed. Yes, exactly. Nicely done, man. Right. Hell yeah. You guys are absolute beasts. Thank you very <laughs> Thanks, much. Bro. Yes. Have a good oh. day. Here's a uh, hundred. Let's go. Right. Let's go, dude. Have a good day. Hey, yeah, yeah. There's Take care, guys. You multiply all of the integers in the array together, and then you return that as the answer. Make sense? This way, Nick. They're dumping milk on their head. Wait, wait, wait. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's go, dude. All right, there you go. Thank you. What's your name? Nolan. Nolan, nice to meet you. So yeah, we're just asking people to solve coding problems for a hundred bucks. Okay. How much experience do you have? Would you say? Uh, a little bit. C plus plus, Java. Yeah, the oh. question is called consecutive zeros. So given this uh, binary string, you basically want to find the longest number of consecutive zeros in this string. Is that something you think you could do? Um, potentially. So just write a function that takes in an input of a string. The longest amount of zeros in the string. So the most. You want, consecutive you want the zeros. number of zeros. Yeah, the number of zeros. Okay. We got the function, which has some string, and then we want to check through the string each value of it and see if it's a 1 or a 0. So we'll make a variable, uh, number equals 0, and we're going to do num plus plus. Ever check if if you see a one, make this check if it's the largest. Otherwise, just make the zero and start over. So you just yeah okay. So you just explain me the rest of the solution. Yeah, yeah that works. I'm kind, yeah. of, kind of running out of room yeah. lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay, I see. You know, I'll take that. You definitely were on the right track. I mean, you didn't finish all the code, but uh, you told me what you were doing, and it was pretty Logic good. Is right. It was pretty good. So that's a hundred dollars, Nolan. Thank you. Nicely done. Do you go to school here? I uh, go to Northeastern. Okay. Yeah. Just walking around for the night. Probably gonna grab some dinner.
This a goofy white boy with the blonde hair I done pay my dues, I won't lose, I belong here Got a bad thing, I'm on, play with long hair Princess of a king, but now